Here are the top things you should do prior to your very first showing. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is a common question our sellers have, and that is we scheduled your first showing. So your home's on the marketplace, it's on the MLS, it's been marketed, and a buyer wants to look at it. Typically, you have 24 hours or longer before the showing shows up. So they're gonna, you know, hey, I wanna show your home tomorrow at four o'clock. Now, let's prepare your home for the marketplace. Let's prepare for that showing. And here are the top things you wanna do. First thing you wanna do prior to the showing is you want to make sure that all of the lights are on. Now, if you're out of town or at work, you have an electronic lockbox, the agent's gonna turn on the lights, but if you can, make sure the lights are on. Knowing that the lights are really important, I want you to make sure that all of the light bulbs work. And not only that, but one of my pet peeves is making sure all of the light bulbs are consistent or are the consistent light. So I don't want like a, a blue light and then a halogen light, you know, get it some consistent lighting in your house. It's really important. Number two, open up all of the blinds and, and let in all of that natural light. So you're gonna turn on the lights and you're gonna open up all the blinds. Don't worry, the agent that's showing your home the standard practice is for them to turn off the lights and close the blinds and lock up the home. So you're gonna get it prepared for them so they can show up and sell your home. See that agent that's coming to show the buyer the home, what they want more than anything is to sell your home. And they make it, so make it easy for them. So that's gonna make it light and bright for your home. The second thing, the third thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna clean up. Now it doesn't have to be like perfectly clean, but you definitely want to take all of the things off the countertops and wipe down the countertops and wipe down the mirrors in the bathrooms. And I'm also going to want you guys to put together a go bag. So a bag that you're going to take with you or a go box, meaning a showing box where you're going to put all of your personal property, personal items like toothbrushes, shampoo, you know, the nitty gritty stuff that you're using, throw it in a box, put it in the garage. And when the showing's over with, you can put the box back and un un undo everything, right? Because we want to pare down your living things that you need on a daily basis. Now, the fourth thing you got to understand about a showing is you're not going to be present at all. You're not gonna be anywhere near that house, okay? I don't want you around the corner spying on the buyers, right? And I don't want you looking at your security cameras, freaking buyers out. You really want them to feel comfortable in their home. Give them their privacy. I would say, you know, leave a half hour before and come a half hour after. Typically, it's an hour, an hour block. Now, they're only gonna be at your house five minutes. I've been at homes five minutes, five seconds. I've been at homes for an hour and a half. Right, give them their space, don't pressure them. Typically an hour is enough time for them to do that. Now when the showing's all done, the home should be locked, but you wanna make sure that it is locked up. You know, check your windows, check your sliders if you're, if you're concerned about security because people do make mistakes. Don't get super mad at them, they do their very best, it's rare, but make sure that everything's locked up if, if that's really important to you. Now the agent that showed your home, they're gonna be asked for showing feedback. This is over 5,000 homes sold and probably tens of thousands of showings. Only about 20% of showings you will actually get feedback. It sounds crazy, but the feedback that you want is, are they gonna be making an offer? Typically, if they're not interested in your house, they're not gonna give you feedback. So no feedback is actually feedback. They're not interested. I'm sorry to say that, but that's kind of the truth. But they're gonna be asked for showing feedback. And when you, when, as a homeowner, if you're asking for showing feedback, be prepared for the truth, right? So we had a showing the other day and the feedback was it smelled. Well, what did it smell like? It smelled like pets, right? So if you do have pets in your house, you are used to that smell, right? I could do a whole video on pets. You are used to that smell. And so other people are gonna pick up on that smell because they're not used to it. Even if they have pets, it's a different pet odor. So just be cognizant of that if you have pets. You wanna take your pets with you uh, out of the house. You don't wanna put them in the kennel or you don't wanna put the cat, hide the, hide the cat kit litter box and do all those different things. You, just like you have a go bag or a go box for your personal items, you need a place, you need to know strategically where you're gonna put the dog bed. Strategically, where are you gonna put the dog food? Strategically, where are you gonna put the cat box and the litter box? Figure that out because it's, it's gonna pay dividends. Um, when it comes to selling your home. So those are the, my top tips for preparing your home for the showing, for your very first showing.